So this is my larger stone cutter. The blade is a bit dull, so it's very slow and I'm not very efficient. I usually uh, I use a grinder. Um, the grinder is uh, the, with a diamond blade. It's it's faster and more efficient. And uh, when I was working on this one with the grinder, uh, a Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. But the grinder burned. It got too hot. Uh, not not because of the hammer, but because I have been spending the, the last many days of making slices of rocks with it. So, so it, it just stood its time. It's done now. And I have another grinder, but uh, well, I'll try this one uh, now and see how it works, even though the blade is a bit dull. So. But this is, is, is practically done cutting. Uh, I have to do some more work with it, of course, but let's try another stone and, and make uh, another hammer. Uh, with it. I have uh, This could be interesting. Septurine. Um, they are very hard to work with when you're trying to make uh, uh, amulets and, and jewelry like uh, like the Mjolnir hammer uh, because of the way you're cutting and slicing it. This is uh, partially uh, different kinds of stone and hard and clay of some sort, so 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 they fall apart easily. But but when you hit it the right way and 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 the result comes out the way you want it. It's going to be a beautiful amulet, so... I have two parts, so let's just try and see if we can get something out of them. If we are lucky. Always remember protection. Your kids are going to thank you for that. So, that's the beginning, let's see if that gives us 
something to work with. So, we did some cutting. And I made uh, three pieces of potential Mjolnus, two of the terrain, and this of, I don't know how to say that in English, but uh, you'll probably know it. Let's see if we can adjust them a bit here. This is like an old automobile, we have to help it get in the mode. That is. We're adding some water. Water and electricity is beautiful. Beautiful partnership. Luckily they don't touch each other here. Now I lost the dust max mask. No, I didn't lost it. I I just took it off because you don't really need it with this one. It's not as dusty. But I'll keep on my glasses because if anything splinters, I don't want it in my eyes. I've got these kind of grinding stones. And with them I will try to form the Mjolnir. I'm just opening and adding a little water. You can see it gets darker. Not too much. Finding. Where is... What is it? Dripping. In a good, right speed. And then it's just to see if we can... Work something out of this. And that's too thick. I should have cut it off, but uh, my experience with the subterranean says that too much cutting just breaks at the wrong places, so let's see if we can do it a little here instead. This will probably shorten the life of that stone, the grinding stone, but... It's had a long life and it will probably last longer than this. So How many times I use the word grinding and different tools, a grinder and a grinding stone. I don't even know if this is called a grinding stone, but I call it a grinding stone. I know the word in Danish, but uh, Technical language of the English. Um, I gotta Google up on that one. Google is my friend. And then again, it doesn't really matter what I call it as long as you know what I mean. And I really hope you do because you can see it. getting a little thinner. It's going somewhere. Now this is the time where I usually find out that it's working and then I put extra pressure on it because I get excited. You don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to do that. Still getting there.
I think we're after something here. Let's shut up the water. It's a beautiful sip terrain. Let's take this one now to polish it a little. This has another grain size than this one. This is a very rough one. It's a very fine one. Turn on the water. Yeah. And it's practically the same as, as this one. Just have patience, you work with it. No, not too fast. It can still break the stone if you work too fast and too hard. Have patience. Feel the stone. Feel the rhythm. Feel the flow. That's a movie, isn't it? It's cool running. I remember that one. I don't work too much on the polished thing because I like it to be a bit raw. But I like to uh, just smooth out any hard edges that and you see I would actually like this to be a little it's a little thinner on this side than this side and normally it doesn't matter because the differences are beautiful, but sometimes it's just not what the stone wants. So let's see if we can take a little off. for cracks. Now that's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. This is like a uh, Symbiosis is like a no, it's not. It's, it's a cooperation between me and this rock. I want something out of it, and it wants something out of it. And we gotta find out how to get those things together. If I want more, then the stone will give me breaks. If the stone wants more, then I will give it the breaks. So, we have to figure out what to work with and how to work together. to get what we want. I'm just holding my hand here because I, it's already wet so I can't see it when I turn on the water. But if I hold my hand I can feel small drops of water. I have to open it slowly because if I just open it the water will pour out and that's a lot of water used in no time. No need for that. That is. And this is a glove. 
don't buy expensive gloves. I was working with stones. With these machines and grinders and cutters. They will break. They don't last very long, so. No matter what kind of glove I would have used, I would have made a hole in it today, so just to well check the cheap ones. I still use gloves because it protects your skin. This doesn't hurt your skin in, in any way. But it's still... It still does something of course like fine sandpaper. Sooner or later your skin will... Get hurt, dry out, I don't know. So glasses and gloves. And when you do something dusty, wear a dust mask. Or whatever you call it. As I said before, the children are gonna thank you. I have two girls and they're gonna love having a, a healthy and fully functional dad home every day. Just take care of yourself. Sometimes we all do something stupid. You can see that I have a... I cut a piece of my thumb some weeks ago and it's starting to heal up now and it's gonna heal up just fine, but... Just take care of yourself. That's the polisher. And I don't have any protection for that one. So I'm probably gonna get a lot wet now. I'm just gonna polish uh, the front side. Up the Mjolnir. Just for fun. And we have a mule now in subterranean stone. Roughly cut, Nordic style. Little bit of polish on the front. Now we can dry it and drill a hole in it. Put it on a cord of some sort. Turned out just fine. Me and the stone doing magic. Another critical part of making a a stone jewelry is drilling a hole in it for uh, the ring to put a cord in. Now I could drill a hole in this way and just lead the cord through it, but uh, I think I, I, I want a, a piece of, of uh, a hammered silver ring in this one, so I'm putting a hole through that way. Now it's already shown a little sign of, that's a natural crack, but it could get worse if it vibrates too much or whatever you say. But I'm gonna try it anyway. As I said, we have to work together, me and the stone. Uh, I'm using this one. 
a big drill here. I could also, and do eventually use the smaller thing, the, the one you hold in your hand. It works fine, but sometimes I use the big one because I can I can stabilize this. It's flat here and I can stabilize it. I hope. Let's see what happens and keep on the glasses. I took my gloves on. Maybe not so smart, but it was getting too moist because I was just working with water and I gotta let it dry. And I'm gonna use water again. Keep this wet at all times. I should actually drill it in water. I've done that and had some good results, but when I drill in water I use the handy little multi-tool hand drill thing. When I use the big one, I, I gotta figure out another way, but I'll just spray it on. Find the center and go slow. When working with stone and tools, power tools, always go slow. Find the place first, here, and then go slow down. Some people, they, they, has, they have a little pen and you point there and a point there and they go from both sides and they have it all calculated out in some mathematically kind of way. I don't, that doesn't work for me. I, I'm more kind of a feel and look and touch kind of guy. So I'm gonna find my hole and make it through without having to use a pen and point it off. And I also go straight down, I don't turn it around and go on the other side. <laughs> of course, when I go through here, and it comes out there, it could splinter here, but... I haven't had that experience yet, that it would, without... I, I can save it because I... I, I I cuff or whatever you call it, the edge of the hole, so so there is no splinters because I, I, I expand the hole with the hand tool afterwards, so I've had better experiences with that than making small points first and drilling from both sides, that's not good for me. Anyway. the diamond too hot. It will ruin the, the drill. And you want to keep it wet. It lubricates. I love that word. This is not hot. I just stopped it to tell you. Remember to keep it cool. Remember not to press. You will burn off the diamonds on the tip. That goes almost for all diamond tools. So. Patience. You probably wanna, whether you're using this drill or the hand drill or the, with the handle, the little multi-tool thing, wanna you know work it a little up and down to to to. Uh, keep lubricating the diamonds and, and it helps the 
the stone dust and the thing getting out of there. So take it down, drill, take it a little up, take it down, drill again, take it a little up. The closer you feel you're going to reach the end, go slower and do it more often. And that way you can avoid uh, most of the splinters on the other side. Very nice, very nice. I'll just take the the hand, mold two power thingy, <laughs> and expand the hole a little. Some users uh, and where's that? This the the, the flat drill, no, with the flat end. And some uses around. I prefer them both. This I mostly use when when carving runes and and so and stones, and and this I use mostly for holes and uh, expanding holes. So I'm gonna use this one. Now I'm gonna use the little hand drill power tool thingy. on here. Tight. Not a very good table to do this on, but it works for now. I got a round end on it, so let's just change that one out. The flat one. Flat, large one. You can call it large when it's small drills. Larger than the smallest, anyway. Let's see where you can see. Where do we want to work? Somewhere right here. I could also use this in water. Should also be able to do it dry because, well, it doesn't really matter. It. I'm not drilling in it. Let's just keep it safe. We've gone all this way with the stone. Beautiful stone, so let's. Keep on working with it. So what I want to do is... See? There's little splinters falling off here and... And the edges of the hole are sharp and... The hole is... It's quite small or... Too small for... For what I want to put through it, so... Gotta expand it a little. Let's see how I can do it so you can keep on watching. I want to loosen up the edges here. Drilling round. Working with it. Oh, 
on both sides. And also inside the hole, trying to expand it a little, working it around slowly. Working too fast or too hard will crack it. Yeah. You gotta lot your home now. And now I've made a little scratch here and there, so I'm gonna take it over to. This one, let's see here. Yeah. That one over there, you remember that? And work it up a bit again. Removing the small scratches I just made, so. It's gonna have a fine smooth front and still keeping the, the raw edges here, the style that I'm working with. I'm just gonna do that and we can put a, a ring in it. And this is where we're gonna make a little ring thing. Or that's that's the grinder I had that <laughs> broke down today. This is silver. Pure silver cord, and I have rounded and cut, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hammer it because that's what I do. That's my kind of jewelry, and we're gonna fit it in the mural now we have made of the zip ring. This is it. What do you call that? One of those things the Smith uses, but this is not a normal one, it's for shoe making. And it's very good for jewelry making also, because I have various sizes and sloops that I could use. And then, for this I'm just using a plain, normal hammer. Nothing fancy here, we have a lot of different hammers, but here we're just using a plain one main purpose is just to get this flat and then in the very end to put some marks in it. If you hammer it too much in, in one side more than another it will Not get round. I could warm it. And make it so to work with now because it's getting very hot. The more you hammer on it, the harder it's gonna get. We can do that. We can avoid that by, by heating it up, but Let's not go there now. Why make things easy when you can keep them hard? And watch your fingers. We're gonna adjust that end soon. giving it some love. These ends here are rough after the cut. So uh, 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smooth them out and be back shortly. So now that's well done. myself the lock is kind of a charcoal lock this is a toe bone from a from a small wolf a coyote species and this is a loop the, the necklace cord of a it's leather dark brown leather and uh, I spun it and tied it up with uh, the cotton string in the same color you work it as you do with any other travel lock and I have two wooden oh, two wooden beads on it like a skull cut. It's fancy and death is beautiful. Not death by itself, but because death represents life. And therefore, skulls are important. Of course, it's sad to lose someone you love, yes. Missing people, it's not funny. Death is a very large part of life. So instead of being afraid of it, it's unavoidable, we should embrace it. And I celebrate life by bringing honor to the dead. Those who are not here because they're gone, and those who are not here because they have not yet been born. Neither for the first time or just yet. Again. Now it's here. Claws hammer. And a wolf bone. That's a toggle lock. to turn it both ways. I think I prefer this way. Simple. And we have a hole for it here. YouTube can help you a lot. Oh, and that goes. Yeah. And we drop this one. It goes here. That's uh, an old mammoth symbol. Also with beets. We just made that today. Now it's hanging next to all the other ones.
And another hammer up here, just next to the crucifix. Why would anyone do that? Because magic has no religion. They are Nordic magic, they are Christian magic, Celtic magic, Roman, Greek, Egyptian magic. Name it. Now we're done. We've made a hammer. A mule Let's go outside and get some sun. Wonderful weather today. Well, thank you for following the hammer making. Come back another time. It's been fun. Have a nice day. Oh, and, and just just to correct myself, I think I called the Thor's hammer uh, the stone I, we made it in for a, a septarine, and I do believe it's a septarian uh, in English. Dragonstone, someone also called it. Let's call it that. That's a good name, Dragonstone. It's better.